Hi, I'm George Jacobs, and we came to Sumter in 1985, straight from Princeton Seminary. My wife, Gordon, and I, it was our home for 11 years. Our son, Tao, was born there in 1990, and for him, Sumter will always be where he's from. Our friendships in Sumter and with First Presbyterian continue to grow. You are a big part of who we are. Thank you. You taught me how to be a pastor. So thank you for your kindness and your patience. One of the few sermons I remember was my first. It was not long after our mayor and fellow member, Bubba McElveen told me the story of how the Confederate soldiers may have been secretly buried under the church. I brought the story up in my first sermon in case someone felt a bump under their feet while I was preaching. They would know that it was from folks who were turning over in their graves at a Yankee preaching in their church. <laughs> Thank you for teaching me Southern culture, its heritage, and the rich tapestry of its literature with all its irony and paradox. It helped me learn about the things, how, how things worked in town when I served on the committee for, for local mission. I knew a little bit more about how things were going and doing then. Well, it helped that the the mayor and the city manager and most of the politicians were members of the church. I remember one of those wooden shotgun houses that burned down one night and people were tragically killed. First Presbyterian stepped up and put smoke detectors in hundreds of homes all over town. When we first came to Sumter, someone came to the office and needed a meal. I had to walk across the street and buy him a sandwich. First Presbyterian had a bigger vision. Our members helped renovate a bank on Calhoun Street so that Crisis Ministries had an office so people could come every day of the week for those folks who fell through the cracks. Our son was baptized in the Opera House. You may remember that's where we worshiped when our sanctuary was being rebuilt and after Hurricane Hugo. Those weeks after Hugo were wild and wondrous. We were without power or water for weeks. People had a few fun parties, but they had to wind up after dark because it was martial law. You had to be off the streets at a certain time. In some strange twist, I was head of the, of the Habitat chapter that First Presbyterian helped start. We had finished a couple houses, but those were so damaged during the hurricane, along with our church, and many of our members' homes. But you helped me experience one of my greatest accidental achievements. For some reason, I called the founder of Habitat for Humanity on the phone, and he came to Sumter. He was so impressed by your Christian leadership that Hugo Habitat was formed and some 300 homes for the working poor were, were built in Sumter and in Charleston. Full-time volunteers lived in the old manse and welcomed college and working groups from throughout the nation. Thank you. We started coming to place for our seniors and were about serving our Lord in so many ways that our congregation was given the Ecumenical Service Award by the Presbyterian Church, given to the one congregation in the nation that was doing the most to serve its community. Our family moved to Charlotte, Charlotte in the late 90s, and we served a church where we learned that a church can break a ministry as easily as it teaches one. So we talked to some of our Sumter friends, and with their help, started the Davidson Clergy Center, where my wife and I have worked for 19 years. We have served ministers from throughout the country and all over the world. We have... Uh, even welcomed 11 Lebanese Christians who came here after a war there to more than 1,200 clergy. We have given counseling, spiritual direction, personal training, coaching, and hope, and healing for a ministry that will continue for many years.